Good evening and welcome to this edition of Dead Poets. The mask on the chair beside me is to acknowledge the essential and frontline workers, from field labourers to grocery store workers and health professionals, who have risked much to feed us and protect us during the pandemic. May we continue to value their labours as much tomorrow as we do today. I am Peter Midgley, a writer, translator and editor from Edmonton, and I'll be reading some poems from the Roman poet Quintus Horatius Flaccus, known in English simply as Horace. I'll read the original Latin, followed by my own translation. Horace was born in 65 BCE. By the time of his death in 8 BCE, he was widely recognized as the leading poet of his time, that is, the Augustan era, the early days of Roman Empire that followed the death of Julius Caesar. Existing translations are often talked to give meaning and intent to suit a chosen metric pattern or work too hard at maintaining an assumed gravitas in the original and therefore sacrifice accuracy. The result is often beautiful but overwrought renditions of the poem. Contemporary translators have to acknowledge this history of translation as well as correct beloved mistranslations and offer modern readers who lack the grounding in Roman history and culture with enough context in the poem to facilitate reading. That's a tall order. I therefore tread carefully in navigating this pathway through multiple monsters. Ode 313, the spring of Bandusia, Horace adapted the forms and themes of Greek lyric poetry from the 7th and 6th centuries BCE into Latin. He promises to sacrifice a young goat to the spring at the Festival of Springs, which was generally held on October the 13th. The poem ends with Horace promising to immortalize the spring through song. The location of the spring is unknown, but there is some evidence to suggest that it may have been located on his Sabine farm near Apulia in the commune of Licensia. Ode 3.13 O fons pandusiae, splendidio ruitro, dulci digne mero non sine floribus, Crastona beres haido, qui fons turgida cornibus, primus et venorum et proelia destinat, frustra. Nam gelidus in ficiet tibi rubro sanguine rivos, lasciwi suboles gregis. De flagrantis atrox ora a caniculae nescit tangere. Dui frigus amabile fessis uom retores, praebis et pecori vago. Fies nobilium et quoque fontium, me diciente cavis impositam li illicem saxis, unde loquaces limfae desiliunt tuae. Ode 313 Ah, Bandusia, you who shimmers brighter than glass, Tomorrow, at the festival of springs, I shall toss garlands upon you, and I shall sacrifice to you a kid, one who believes its youthful horns are destined for love and battle and victory. It is mistaken. This child of the playful herd will stain your icy streams red with its sacrificial blood. Fierce Sirius, driven to madness by the dog days of July, has no power to harm you, you, whose lovely waters slake the thirst of the tired plough ox and the sheep lazing in the field. You will become renowned among fountains, for I shall sing the praises to the oaks that line the hollows from which rise the clear babbling brooks of your waters. <laughs> 